So what the superconscious mind is giving out to the rest of the mind is energy, divine energy. Greetings, greetings. Welcome to another episode of The Weekly Awakening. My name is Taraku Day with Awaken Within, and today we're gonna go deeper into parents and what your parents represent in a dream. As always, a couple foundational things about dreams. Number one, every dream is about you, the person dreaming. That's because every person, place, or thing within a dream is an aspect of your own consciousness. And your dreams are a reflection of what you've been going through and how you've been using your mind and, and the way you've been thinking the last day or two. So people in dreams will represent different characteristics of our own personality. You know, the different ways of being that we are all capable of, different aspects of our own, of our own consciousness. So, so, you know, friendly or uh, compassionate. In the video about people, I get a little more in depth with it, but there are specific people that have certain delineations within what they represent within your dreams, such as parents. And so that's what we'll go a little bit more into today. Just real quick, people in general, you know, you wanna look at what is the main quality you see in that person. Are they compassionate? Are they vengeful? Are they hurtful? Are they loving? Are they caring? Are they giving? Are they greedy? You know, whatever main characteristic you see within them, that is why they are in your dream because your subconscious mind is using them to help show you that quality within yourself. Because we're all capable of being spiteful, we're all capable of being loving and caring, we're all capable of being friendly, we're all capable of being introverted, and we're all capable of being extroverted, et cetera, et cetera. So you have these different ways of being within you, and so people will represent that. Now your parent is your first teacher, your first authority figure within your life. And so that's what they'll represent within you is your own inner authority, you know, because like I said, everything within your dream is an aspect of your own consciousness. So what what is your inner authority? You know, your, your spirit, your divine consciousness, your super conscious mind, that is your authority. And that, you know, that's what you listen to and get, get direction and receive guidance from from within yourself, that part of your consciousness. And to have the whole of parents, there's two halves, you know, the mother, the father, the feminine, the masculine, the receptive, the aggressive. And there's also these two qualities of the superconscious mind. There's an aggressive and a receptive. And the father will represent the aggressive quality of the superconscious mind. And the mother will represent the um, receptive quality of the superconscious mind. Now, the receptive quality of the superconscious mind, the way what it receives is your attention. And when you when you give your attention to the superconscious mind, it the superconscious mind, the receptive quality is to hold the blueprint that you've created for your existence. A lot of people argue about whether there's free will or whether things are destined to happen, but I understand that there is a mix of both. You have this blueprint that you have created for your spirit, your soul, your physical life, and this blueprint is your destiny. It is destined to come to fruition because you have mapped it out. It's like a blue. It's like any other blueprint. To you know, this building when it was built, it had a blueprint. There was an architect that created the blueprint. You were the architect that created your own blueprint. And whenever things kind of go wrong, and or you know, a plumber's like not really understanding where the pipes are going because the electricians already come in and put them where they thought they were going to go. Where do they go? They go to the foreman to go back to the blueprint to understand exactly how things are supposed to be laid out. And so the same is true with your superconscious mind. Anytime you give your attention to it to access and seek the guidance of this blueprint of what's destined to occur within you, you still have the freedom of free will to choose whether you're going to fulfill that right now or not. But either way, it's going to be fulfilled. You know, that's why we go through cycles. You know, you have, you work at this job and you have this kind of boss and then you leave there and you don't learn the lesson, but you move over here and, and to a different job because it's better. But then another, you have the same kind of relationship with your boss, you know? And so you would go kind of go through these different cycles until you choose to fulfill that destiny, but you still have free will to choose whether it's going to be going to happen now or not. But the receptive quality of the superconscious mind, your mother, whenever it comes into the dream, is going to represent that. So whatever's going on with your mother in the dream, whatever context uh, that she that she's showing up into the dream, you want to apply through the filter of understanding that she is representing the inner part of you that's holding that blueprint for your consciousness. You know, it's just sitting back observing and watching what's happening. Are you engaging with her? Are you are you in a car driving and she's driving or you're driving her? You know, what's kind of going on? Just the presence alone will help give a little insight to the fact that you are fulfilling that blueprint 
to whatever degree. Now, the father is going to represent the aggressive. You know, aggressive is giving. You know, so what the superconscious mind is giving out to the rest of the mind is energy, divine, divine energy. And so this energy comes through and, it, and it's life force energy that is coming from within your spirit out to the outer self. And so that happens whenever you are in alignment with that blueprint. You know, that's why you have that thrilling feeling, you know, for, for when you have a new idea of something that just whew, resonates throughout your whole being, that energy that you just felt invigorated with and zapped with is that super conscious life force energy that the aggressive quality of the super conscious mind is feeding out to you to help you to, you know, spark, oh, oh, this isn't, this is exactly in alignment with what I need to be doing and who I need to become. And it also is providing you with the energy to be able to then do what you need to do, the activities that you need to do in order to fulfill that. And so whenever the father is showing up in a dream, what's the context of how he's showing up into the dream? You know, are you engaging with him? Is, is it just the thought of the father or is the actual symbol actually there? The image actually there? Is it actually occurring? So that's what the mother and father will represent. But like I said, you then want to look at the context of how they're showing up into the dream. And then you'll have a much clearer picture of what your subconscious mind is trying to tell you about your super consciousness and your relationship with it and how you're using it and engaging with it. And then you'll have a clear picture of how to then apply that message into your life so that you can overcome any obstacles that are in the way of what you're trying to do so that you can manifest what you're wanting to manifest within your life so that you can become the individual that you're wanting and striving and taking steps towards becoming. And this same, you know, aggressive receptive quality superconscious mind also applies to all other superconscious aspects. Uh, bosses, you know, they're an authority figure, uh, you know, preachers of any kind, you know, they're an authority figure, you know, is it a male or a female? Um, teachers, you know, they're an authority figure. Teachers will also represent superconscious uh, mind. So is it a male teacher or a female teacher? And you can filter through this exact same interpretation for all of those grandparents as well. So I hope this helps with you understanding your dreams, because the more you understand about your dreams, the more you understand about yourself. And check out the link below. You can learn how to interpret dreams directly for yourself and other people in the new Dream Masterclass. You can click on the link for details. And as always, I leave you in peace. <laughs>